Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let us learn from number 66 of the Skeleton, words to stop you from falling to hell, and I quote. On one occasion, a miser dropped gold coins in the river. He dived into the water and collected the gold coins into his pockets, but the weight of the coins were too heavy for him to come out of the water. Number 66. On one occasion, a miser dropped gold coins in the river. He dived into the water and collected the gold coins into his pockets, but the weight of the coins were too heavy for him to come out of the water. Thank you very much. All right, uh, regarding a miser, a greedy person of money, uh, there was one from number 63 a couple days ago. Number 63 of these word series is about a miser, so you can refer to that too. But today, uh, wow, makes a lot of sense. So a miser, a person who's full of greed of money, and they're very selfish. They use the money and wealth not for love and um, prosperity, but only for their own uh, pur purpose. Selfish-driven thoughts. And now, let's look at the sentence. Uh, they drop the coin, right? They dive in, they collect it, but then they sink and they drown because of that weight. It's so symbolic, isn't it? Um, greed is what burns us in life. And greed is what brings us down in life. It brings down our spirituality and we can end up in hell. Greed is the first poison of the mind. It, it corrupts our soul to the core. What's the opposite of greed? It's giving. So we're talking about a miser here. So, you know, you can be greedy not only for money, but it could be for the opposite sex. It could be for status. It could be for whatever you're latching on to. But in this case, it's about money. So let's talk about financial stuff. Hellish way of finance is great and just keeping it to yourself. There is a heavenly way of finance. Um, like I said, prosperity using the money to develop the world better, providing better services, providing better um, effective things or helpful things to the world that makes people's life better. That's, that's one heavenly way of using money. The other one is happiness planting. So in, in Happy Science, it's, we take the form called happiness planting as a financial donation, and that is in, old, in traditional Buddhist terms, it's, it's an offering. You don't donate to a church, but you offer it to a temple. And when you practice happiness planting, it's truly a discipline. You really feel lighter. In the end, you can bring nothing with you. You have to leave everything behind. So when we die, when we return to the heavenly world, we want to be get there as light as lightly as possible. We want to keep it light. We want to use that wealth in a heavenly manner. So uh, one great way is happiness planting. And once you practice it, you really do feel lighter. And there's this like strong feeling of joy welling up that you were able to support a very, very great cause. Uh, so those are the thoughts I had. What did you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. And see you again tomorrow. Bye.